Now we're going to look at domain development in the first year. And any uh, and the, the, first, uh, the first domain um, is going to be gross motor. So um, we, div we tend to develop gross motor uh, skill before fine motor. And so when we think about infancy, we, we think often about this a huge period of gross motor development. Um, we'll also talk about fine motor development. So I've divided it into kind of two different periods. This one is earlier infancy. And what happens at the very beginning is something called anti-gravity behavior. So what that means is that, um, you know, imagine that a, a child has just come out of the womb, right? They have no ability to pull up against gravity, not their head, not their um, chest, not their torso. They have, uh, they have no um, muscle strength whatsoever because they've been in this protected environment. So um, anti-gravity behavior, in other words, pulling up against gravity is a huge piece of early infancy gross motor development. Um, it starts off with um, sort of some stereotypical or reflex behavior um, as well in early infancy, like um, alternately stepping when the feet are, when the baby is held in a standing position and the feet are placed on the ground. So we have anti-gravity behavior. We have um, the reflex behaviors, which again, then lead into more voluntary movement. And then um, the other two uh, big um, milestones of early infancy are uh, a baby rolling. So at um, four to five months, they can um, roll from prone to supine. In other words, from their tummy to their back. And then at five to six months, they can roll from their back to their stomach. Then, as I said, um, there's the gross motor development in later infancy, and that is um, kind of what we, you know, what we think about when we think about um, motor milestones of the infant. So, sitting, which happens around six months of age, um, is the ability to sit upright without using the hands for support, and um, then uh, a transfer from lying to sitting. So there's all of those things that are happening. You can see in this picture, the baby is, um, is, is pushing up with their hands to sit. Um, crawling, which um, starts with the belly on the floor, and then the, the baby starts to push up against gravity and develops a quadruped. In other words, a, a, a four-point locomotion, um, which is creeping. And cruising begins when um, the parents start walking the infant, right? So you put out two hands and you walk behind them a little bit. Um, so uh, cruising can also be um, a along furniture, right? So the baby is bearing weight in their lower extremities, but they don't yet maintain their balance. Independent walking happens at around 12 months. And at this uh, point, it's important to note that all of these developmental milestones happen at approximately um, the period I've noted if a child is developing typically. So if a child is born prematurely, they will, um, they will achieve the motor milestones later because we correct for the baby being pr premature. If the child has any kind of atypical developmental pattern going on, either due to a developmental delay of some sort, um, any disease or uh, condition that's been present at birth, these milestones are going to happen at a later age. Then we look at fine motor development, and there's not a ton happening. Um, babies will um, start off uh, with grasping, and when they start grasping, 
it um, it signals the beginning of the development of prehension. So prehension using the hands, right? Um, grasping happens first, and then holding and manipulating objects happen a little later. When a uh, uh, when an infant is grasping, it tends to be a primitive. Uh, kind of grasp, right? So it's they're not grabbing a pencil, getting ready to write. They're um, they're using primitive squeeze grasp. They're using a raking pattern. In other words, if their fingers are out in a, in a uh, and spread, they can pull things towards them. But notice that I'm moving my shoulder back, right, to pull towards me. I'm not grabbing something and then moving it to myself. And um, in this early period of development, they also um, get their eyes to guide the reaching. So it's the very, very beginning part of eye-hand coordination. By late infancy, the infant is able to dissociate the thumb and the fingers. So remember that um, this increasing activity of the thumb is going to enable the child to engage in more precision and more accurate and sophisticated and skilled fine motor. So the disassociation of the thumb from the fingers is the first step. Um, they can also isolate the index finger to point and to poke, and voluntary release happens in later infancy. So grasp happens first, it happens earlier, and release happens later. We also have a lot of oral motor development that happens in the first year. The neonate first shows reflexive behavior, as I was saying, like the rooting reflex or the, um, the suck reflex, and then they move into more of a voluntary or volitional kind of suck and swallow as they develop. In terms of feeding, um, between one and three months, the baby is eating between eight and 12 times a day. That is a lot of feeding, right? Um, at four to seven months, purees or very, very soft foods may be introduced depending on the ability of the child to sit up um, and their, their, their oral motor control. So it's not a given. We always wanna be super safe about introducing any kind of solid food, um, but somewhere between four and seven months for a typically developing infant, they will start to eat some soft pureed type food. At about seven months, the first teeth appear and that is gonna signal a new phase where between eight and nine months, um, some safe table foods can be introduced because the child is gonna be able to manage them chewing and swallowing at that point in time. By late infancy, in other words, 10 to 12 months, the child is feeding themselves with their fingers. It's not neat, it's not um, pretty, but they're able to uh, get food from a plate or bowl to their mouth using their hands, and they can drink from a sippy cup. And a sippy cup is uh, pictured in this, um, in this photo. It's a, a cup that has kind of a built-in straw. So uh, for a lot more information on feeding and um, some videos about feeding, please see your slide deck and uh, there's a link there that can be very helpful to you. The next domain of development is language and cognitive. We kind of put them together because uh, the production of sound and communication is really key to co early cognitive development. So language is the production of sound and it's related to oral motor development. So this idea of feeding and language happens together uh, because it's developing the, um, the oral motor musculature and the control of tongue, lips, etc. cetera. Um, the earliest vocalizations are cooing and gurgling and then we start to hear some babbling. The child begins to use sounds to to control their environment. So in other words, they cry or they laugh and a caregiver responds. And then by the end of infancy, the first meaningful sounds, in other words, first words, mama, da, da, um, start to, start to uh, occur and develop. 
In terms of cognition, in early infancy, many behaviors involved vision and observation. By four months, um, the child is exploring the environment and objects with, again, a gross grasp and bringing an object to the mouth. So the mouth is very important for early exploration of the world and of objects. By nine months, uh, again, the child is looking for objects that have been hidden, so that idea of object permanence or the peekaboo game, and um, can transfer things from one hand to another, which greatly increases their ability to explore. And finally, um, they're going to want to play games like peekaboo. In late infancy, um, other kinds of cognitive um, behaviors include um, putting objects in and out of containers, looking at a correct picture when it's named, banging things together, so, um, uh, you know, a, a cause and effect, um, beginning to use common objects correctly, like drinking from a cup, pretending to brush hair, things like that. They can follow simple directions. They can explore by banging, shaking, and throwing instead of um, simply bringing it to their mouth to, um, to, to explore with um, by touch. And um, poking, again, with the index finger. And they can, um, they can release without help as well. So it's determining like how they can impact their environment and how they can explore and interact with their environment independently. So all of those are considered cognitive developments that happen um, throughout infancy and, um, and then continue into toddlerhood. Social emotional development is the next area that we're going to look at. And um, again, you can find some very nice information by checking the uh, presenter notes section of your slide deck. Zero to three, the child is not, you know, they're not doing a lot, um, but they're smiling at their caregivers. They're developing more facial expressions. Um, they can briefly calm themselves, like by sucking their thumb. They can um, make eye contact and, and look at people while interacting. Four to six months, um, they're usually pretty happy if they're surrounded by cheerful caregivers and nothing else adverse is going on. They respond to co and copy some facial expressions and movements, and they develop an awareness of their surroundings. Seven to nine months, this is when um, an anxiety around strangers happens. So again, it's it's related to attachment, and the child um, knows who are their people, right? So who are their caregivers and who aren't? They may play um, social games, know the meaning of words that are used frequently, um, look in a mirror at themselves, and become clingy when when a caregiver wants to leave. And then finally, by the late phase of infancy, in other words, 10 to 12 months, they um, attempt to display independence, like for example, crawling for exploration or refusing to, um, to eat a piece of food. No, right? Um, so they're, uh, they're starting to understand independence versus dependence. They might show fear around unfamiliar people or objects. They can try to get someone's attention by repeatedly making sounds or using gestures. Um, they imitate and, um, and clear attachment is present. So by 12 months, um, we see the pattern of, of attachment um, and it is unequivocal. Okay, so in summary, uh, we're almost through. Uh, the first year of development is a dynamic period of change across uh, the across areas, and it's the most dynamic period of change across the lifespan. So the most changes happen from zero months to 12 months. Um, movement skill: the child is going from utter dependence to independence. They go from feeding only on liquids like breast milk to eating real food, so solids. Their communication goes from crying, um, which is a very kind of uh, basic primal method of communication, to actually using single words. 
and they make this transition into a very curious, active period of development that we call toddlerhood, and we'll be discussing um, in the next lecture. For our in-class activity, we will be uh, watching videos both on reflexes and on infant development, and then we're going to be starting our journey of learning to analyze and um, and talk about behavior. So stay tuned for that in class, and thank you for your kind attention. I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.